There are stories told late at night that give children fear and fright. Are you daring enough to share with me a chilling story, two or three? Before at last you turn the page, be warned now at this stage, only the brave enter here, for there is much, much to fear. There was once a ghost that haunted a shoe. It made it a home and loved it too. But as the shoe was always worn, its home was stretched and partly torn. So the ghost moved on and searched away, keen to find a home one day. It tried to haunt a lone mower and bring to it some fear. But little did the ghost then know, it shook there and here. It held on tight and fell off fast, leaving behind the mower at last. So the ghost moved on and searched away, keen to find a home one day. It found a chair with which to haunt. It had the things a ghost would want. When at last it chose to stay, a child came and sat away. Every time the child then sat, the ghost was squeezed and warmed up flat. So the ghost moved on and searched away, keen to find a home one day. It found a box of warm white sand, a home in which to spook the land. Much joy and cheer came its way, as little happened through the day. When one morning the ghost did wake, it found itself inside a cake, for the sand was not sand, as it first did think, but rather it was flour that sat near a sink. So the ghost moved on and searched away, keen to find a home one day. It brought fright to a car, and journeyed with it close and far. Everywhere the car would go, its windows were opened low. Sadly then, the winds would blow, and everything it owned would go. So the ghost moved on and searched away, keen to find a home one day. It found a place in which to weather its ghostly plans to spread its terror. A road for fish was where it stayed, and a place to live was quickly made. But it fell to a river with a blast, when for fishing the rod was cast. So the ghost moved on and search away, keen to find a home one day. It found a tree with which to hide, with a lovely hole on its side. Some birds flew by one day and made a nest where the ghost would lay. The ghost looked and stared for a while, before it gave a little smile. It saw a family with a need to stay, so it chose to give its home away. So the ghost moved on and searched away, keen to find a home one day. This deed of kind was strange and new, leaving behind a thought 
or two. The ghost floated through the sky, passing the stars and the moon up high. It always moved on and searched away and was keen to find a home one day. But this was different and so unknown for a ghost had given away its home. It chose to live, forget its place, and give to others what's once its space. A ghost was made for fear and fright, and yet here it wanders through the night as a giving ghost, a caring ghost, a ghost that lost more homes than most. Yet in its loss of home and place, it gave away its home with grace. As it moved through the night, it came upon a ray of light. Its eyes could see a place to stay, where love it seemed was the way. It made the ghost question why it lived a life that was a lie. There never was fear or fright as darkness faded to this light. The ghost went to the light with joy and gladness, leaving behind all sorts of sadness. Its home in heaven was now found, and there with a new life the ghost was crowned.